Hi, welcome to the range. In this video, we're going to look at the making of Johnson and Dow 207 grain paper cartridge bullets. But I want to start off with the video showing the shooting at seven yards of these paper targets from a 58 Remington. Okay, here we are at the table, and we're going to look at the finished product that we are going to produce here. And again, this is a Johnson & Dow 207 grain bullet that I got the mold from Aragon Bullet Molds. And we can see the tools that we're going to use to make the cartridges. Now you can see that we're using a coffee filter paper for the paper cartridges. This paper has been soaked in nitrate using stump remover that you can get at Home Depot, Lowe's, or your favorite store. Now we can see we have the template here for the side of the bodies and we're going to go ahead and trace that onto the paper. For the base of the cartridges, we're going to use a penny, you could also use a dime, or a circle template, whatever you choose to use. I like using an alternating body base, body, base on my coffee filter paper. Once I have all that on here, I will then go ahead and cut it out. I find that I can fit 13 to 14 cartridges onto one piece of paper doing this method, depending on how close I place them and the layout I use. Now you can see that I'm cutting them out here. I like to cut out first the bodies and I'll get them all cut out and then I will cut out the bases. The basis is the most tedious part and takes the most time to cut here. One thing that I have seen some people do is that they'll cut out the bodies on one coffee filter paper and then for the bases will be cut out on another one. Now besides cutting it out like I'm doing here, I've seen one guy use a hole punch that was roughly uh, 5 eighths inch to 3 quarter inch just large enough to fit, and that he folded up the paper and used the hole punch to get all of them punched out relatively quickly. So that is an option that you can do too. I just like doing it this method of getting everything cut out on the one piece of paper. Nice and relaxing method. At this point, I'm going to grab the glue, and I'm just using regular stick glue here. I've seen some people make glue to be more period correct, but the stick glue works great. And I just put about an eighth of an inch line on the very edge of the paper cartridge so that it will glue to the other end as I wrap it around the mandrel. Now, of course, as always luck has it, your first one doing it in front of the camera takes a little bit longer and I didn't get it as tight as I like. So you can see that I'm here adjusting the paper cartridge so that it fits nicely and has a nice tight fit. Now 
Once I have it fit, I'll take the paper cartridge off. I'll set it to the side and I'm letting it dry. And so I'm going through all of my bodies and I'm getting them all done at once. This gives the glue a little bit time to set. Once they're all glued together, I will grab the bottoms to be glued to the bodies of the cartridges. The die is tapered, and so it fits in one way. I had to do some sanding to get it to fit nice and smoothly to where I liked, and also that the paper went to the right depth. Once I'm ready to make the cartridge, I will go ahead and put the paper back onto the mandrel, and then I'll put about a quarter inch of glue around the base. I will then take one of the bottles, center it over the die, and then I will push the mandrel through the die, gluing the bottom onto the body. Once I have that glued together, I'll take a razor and I will trim the top of the case making it even and also at the top level of the die there. So I'm using the die as the uh, guide. I'll then pull the mandrel out leaving the paper cartridge in the die. I have the scale here to show you how much of a charge that I'm throwing. On my powder measure, I got a 26 grain funnel on it. You can see that I'm getting about 25.7 grains uh, by weight. And I've seen that vary up and down a little bit of uh, volume and weight is kind of close, but not exactly. So then once I get the powder charge in there, I like to kind of tap the side, settle the powder into the cartridge and then I'll glue the heel of the bullet and once I have enough glue on the heel of the bullet I'll press the bullet down into the die compressing the powder a little bit then I'll pick up and I'll set the mandrel on the back side of the die and I'll hold the uh, bullet between my middle finger my index finger and my thumb kind of holding it cradling against the die and then I'll put pressure against to help seat it more and then I will slowly push the bullet out making sure not to separate the bullet from the paper. I'll kind of give it a quick inspection make sure that the paper around the bullet heel is nice and glued and then I'll set it into the box. You'll see in the video where I don't have a good hold on the bullet and as I push it out, the bullet comes loose and I spill the powder. That's a common error. You just kind of clean up your mess and continue going. So we're going to finish up and you can see that I have about 13 bullets out of this set. Once I'm completely done, I will wax the bullet separately using a beeswax tallow mixture. Uh, just the end. I don't want to get it on the paper because that causes loading problems. I just want it over that first uh, groove for the lube to go into. And then I also have the lube over the end of the bullet. I might do a video on that later. But here you can see the process that I use to make paper cartridges for cap and ball revolvers using the Johnson & Dow 207 grain 44 caliber bullets. Thank you.